In this episode, we'll be talking about logical coordination, and it may sound like a complicated concept, but I promise it's not. In short, it's the fact that ideas should be joined together with words that make sense logically, and logical coordination will be tested all throughout the writing section. Let's go into a little more detail now on logical coordination. So here we are with the sentence that demonstrates logical coordination. Let me show you what I mean. Today, Marcus gave an uncharacteristically awful presentation full of pauses and mumbling, even though he usually excels at his speech competitions. So we're using logical coordination because these two ideas are connected with even though. On the one hand, we have the idea that Marcus did a bad job, and on the other hand, we have the idea that he's usually pretty good, and they're connected with a word that indicates contrast, even though. Now, there are many kinds of words that can be used for logical coordination, so let's explore the different categories. First of all, we have words that indicate similarity or continuation. And furthermore, in fact, indeed, likewise, moreover, or, or nor, and similarly. If you see a word like that, you'd expect the two ideas to be related to each other, to be in the same vein. Another set of words, among them the one we just saw with the Marcus example, are the contrast words. A lot more here. We have things like albeit, although, but, despite, even so, however, in contrast, nonetheless, regardless, still, though, whereas, while, and yet. So when these words pop up on the SAT, you'll expect that the ideas being connected with them are contrasting or contrary to each other. And there's one last category of these logical coordination words to be on the lookout for cause and effect words. As a result, because, consequently, for, since, th so, therefore, and thus. So when you see these words, make sure that the two pieces of the sentence are being connected because one of them caused the other. Let's look at some examples. Giselle is gorgeous and that outfit isn't flattering on her. Now the sentence isn't grammatically incorrect, but stylistically and logically it's very weak, so it would be a bad answer choice on the SAT. Here's why. And is one of those coordinating words that suggests the two pieces of the sentence should be similar or in the same vein, but the two pieces of the sentence here are not. On the one hand, we have Giselle is gorgeous, and on the other hand, we have that she doesn't look good in the outfit. Those are contrasting ideas, not similar ideas. So we'd want to find an answer choice that was more like this, but or yet. Something like that that indicates a contrast. Another example, Patrick generally answers calls until midnight on the weekends, whereas he is usually still awake and out with friends. Now, whereas may not be a word you know, it is one of the contrast words. And these two ideas are not contrasting. We have the idea that he generally answers his calls, and we have the idea that he's usually still awake and out with friends. Those are actually connected ideas, or possibly cause and effect ideas. So we'd want a word like since, that shows that he answers calls because he's up, not in spite of the fact that he's up. One more example. Although I play sports daily, I'm an excellent athlete. Now this doesn't make sense because although is a contrast word and the two parts of the sentence are actually pretty closely related and in the same vein. I play sports daily and I'm an excellent athlete are ideas that go together, not ideas that contradict each other. So instead of something like although,